Hello learners. Today we have a math lesson. We'll be working with the number one. Today we're going to practice number sense, number order, addition, subtraction, money, place value, time, and counting on. Grab a pencil, paper, whiteboard. You can find small things around your home or classroom that will help you count. Grown-ups, please make sure your learners are supervised while using small objects. Here we have the number one. Let's write. Can you write the number one on your paper or whiteboard? There's two ways you can make the number one. You can make a line going straight down, or you can make your one this way. One. Let's look at the word for one. The number word is O N. E. One. Can you write that on your paper or whiteboard? O. N. E. Let's take a look at this. This is a 10 frame. It's called a 10 frame because it has 10 boxes. To show the number one in a 10 frame, we're going to make one circle to fill in one box. So this 10 frame represents the number one. Base 10 blocks. If we're using cubes to show the number one, we just need one cube. One. And with each number, we'll add another. Tally marks. A tally mark is a line that looks like this. One tally mark represents the number one. Can you find the number one in this on this number line? Good job. The number one is here. What number comes before the number one? Before, that means we're going to jump this way. That would be zero. What number comes after the number one? Two. Here's our hundred chart. One is easy to find. It's the very first number right here. Number one. Let's talk about place value. This place value chart shows the ones place and the tens place. When we have the number one, there is one, one, and there aren't any tens. So we can leave the tens place empty. Let's talk about odd or even numbers. Zero, two, four, six, eight. Even numbers are great. One, three, five, seven, nine. Odd numbers are fine. When a number is even, everyone has a buddy. When a number is odd, someone is left without a buddy. Here is one boy. Does he have a buddy? No, he doesn't. That means one is an odd 
number. Let's talk about money. This coin is a penny. A penny is worth one cent. So this is how we can represent the number one with money. And we can also write it one cent this way. Let's practice some regrouping. When we're using our straws, our regrouping straws, this one shows the number one. Now we have our apple tree. We're going to represent number one. So I'm going to draw one apple. Let's look at time. Here is a clock. When we have a small, the small hand on the clock, that represents the hour. So if my small hand is pointing to three, that's the hour. When the long hand which shows us the minute is pointing to 12, that means o'clock. So if I color in one minute, that means the time is now three o one. And we'll add another minute with each lesson. Let's practice some addition and subtraction. So we're going to make number sentences that equal the number one. One is our target. So we want one to always be the answer. So let's start with addition. If I start you off with zero, how many do I need to add to zero to get one? I need to add one. Zero plus one equals one. What if I start with the number one? If I already have one, what do I have to add? I don't have to add anything, so I can say one plus zero equals one. All right, let's go to subtraction. What if I give you the number two? How many do I have to take away to get to one? I have to take away one. Two minus one equals one, which is our target. What if we start with four? How many do I have to take away from four? I'm gonna cross out until I have only one left. How many did I have to, have to cross out? Three. Four minus three equals one. All right, let's write. So let's take a look at our magic number page. Let's see how many ways we can represent the number one. So here, we're going to trace one, trace the number word, In the next box, we have to make tally marks. And then that next box, we're going to draw one object. And I'm going to draw 
one heart. All right, the next direction is to make one with base 10 blocks. Fill in the 10 frame for one. Place value, one has one, one, and no tens. Find one on the number line. Complete the number sentence. Zero plus what equals one? So if I have zero, how many do I have to add to get to the number one? Correct, I need to add one and then color one star. All right, good job. It's time to play Erase the Face. So for every answer, one part of the face will disappear. Does this show one? Yes, it does. Does this show one? Three minus two. We have one, two, three, and we take away two. Yes, that leaves us with one. All right, there goes his nose. What about five minus three? I'm gonna make tally marks this time. There's five, if I take away one, two, three, I'm left with two. So no, this does not show one. Count the straws. Does this show one? No. What about this penny? Yes, a penny is worth one cent. That represents one. How about this word? Yes, that is the number word for one. Does this show one? No, there are two birds, not one. All right, nice work. You erased the face. All right, great job working with the number one. I will see you next time.